Miss Mindy do coming back to you. Happy New Year's to all you bottle car builders. YouTube and everybody else. Um help you had a safe one. Twenty twelve is here. Time to make some big progress in model car building for me. Um I got Merry Christmas also, um to all you guys. Right now I got a um, ninety one Chevy I mean a uh, GMC pickup cycling. I'm doing a custom makeover of it. Um doing something wild with it, you know, something old school. People don't make it no more. And this is what I got right here. Move this out the way. This is what I got. Um it's basically a nine I'm making a ninety one S ten out of a GMC. I'm not gonna be putting the body kit on. I gotta get the front clip if anybody has a front clip for a ninety the ninety four lowrider version. The original front clip, not the custom one. Let me know and I'll make make a trade or uh some kind of I'll buy, I'll buy it off you somehow or something. I need that. I'm um, making it convertible. You can see the, the top marks right there. I plan on cutting that. I'm gonna probably cut the doors. I don't know about that exactly. And then full front suspension, hydraulics, rear and front, three wheel motion, all that. Now you guys are probably thinking, yeah, it's normal. Nothing new, nothing different. But as you can see, the bed tilts back. Uh, let's cut some hydraulic. Bed dancing Z rack. I could tilt back. I could tilt it forward. I could lift it like that. And then go left. And I could go right. And I could just make it, or I could just go like this. And the wheels not even. The wheels aren't even on all the way. And I could make it go instead of just having it lift and lower. I could just lift, tilt it left, or tilt it right. The four stage Z rack. Um. I wasted my money on this scissor kit lift hopping hydros. I mean, no disrespect to hopping hydros, but I thought it'd been different than this. I mean, it's really use not really useful, but I mean, it gave me some kind of perspective on what I was going for. This right here is just a scissor lift. It lifts up like that by the pull of the string, and it's cool and everything, but uh, not what I was looking for. So I'm making I'm making a hardcore bed dancer. I'm gonna be running four motors. All in the back right here. And some more. That's a that's the motor that came with it. I'm just testing it out with that. Um, having more of the body and all that, and for each front, back, side to side, and bed dancing. You can see, just works completely functional. But and just toss it around like that. Could dump it forward like that. See, I don't know if I could dump it forward like that. Uh, I never tried it. I actually haven't tried thinking about that. But yeah, go back, go back, side, back, side. Complete movability and like having it fully lifted would result in like something like this. <laughs> and that's the whole stage. It's hinged up. It's going to probably lift about that high. And it all completely drops back down the frame. You got the suspension, small little A arms. It's crazy small. A arms hinged and everything. Gotta do the rear suspension for it. Um, I'm shooting for this. This is what I'm going off of. My dad's old Chevy S10 pickup. This is the front clip I'm looking for. I don't know if anybody has similar to that. If you do, let me know. I'm looking for that specific front clip. Also, if anybody know has a craftsmanship, you know. We could work out a deal, make me this camper show. Has a window right here, a post, and a big window. Don't worry about the top pieces, I'm not worried about that. I'm not I'll get into detail, but not as much. And the D, you can see the chrome and the decal of the S10 right there, the emblem. But yeah, if anybody can make me that camper show, I could really use it. The same thing with the front clip, you get that. Too bad my dad's truck was stolen back in the day. I mean, not back in the day, a couple years ago. Um, I'll show you guys my 60, my 59, I'm putting it back together still, there's the, mo the motor in the back up fried, so now it's going to be able to lift with the motor in the back and the front. The 62, just got a fresh clear coat on Friday, so I got to put it all back together, the windows back in, I got to replace another motor in this corner, I fried that motor in that corner. Engine still wired up. I gotta put the radiator back in. A lot of things started falling apart. 
due to having to take it all out. The wiring got its cut. All the wiring out because of the fact that I had to get it clear coated and all that extra crap. That's what I got right there. Um, yeah. Anybody, let me know. You get that front clip and the bed camper shell done for me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little small update. Uh, Happy New Year. So, plan on keeping this alive for a while. And hopefully, uh, I'll be seeing more more videos from other people with the same similar model car, you know, doing it big like uh doing it, just keeping it alive. Um thanks to Ralph O oh, zero zero six one one. Uh he's sending me a present from Christmas and my dad hooking it up. Thank you very much. And it's a very thank big thank you from me and my and me, my dad and our family, Lopez family to you. Um, yeah, just keep up the good work, everybody, and I plan to see more videos from you guys in the future. Alright, peace. Later, guys.